Oh, it's a shed skin. Check that out. There's the snake. There's the snake. That's probably the same shed skin. That's a war snake. Got him. Got him, got him. Have a look at that. He is gorgeous. My goodness. Alright guys, what we're doing today is going to a brand new stretch of river system. I've actually never been to this part of the river before. Uh, we're going to be walking upstream and I'm really hoping to find some really cool snake species. There's some awesome snakes that live here in Mississippi and uh, a lot of rare species that live along these rivers. Alright, we're about to pass it up. Yep, here it is. Here's the bridge. And right up here, you'll be able to see the river. Now that we've arrived at our destination, it's time to get off the road and onto the river. No kayak or canoes this time, it's all on foot. Looking for wildlife along these types of rivers usually means covering a lot of ground. There's a lot of animals here that are extremely spread out and not easy to find. But this environment is also home to many species that you won't find anywhere else. Hello, bud. No, it's a green. Hello, Don. Oh, Don, what are you doing? It's okay. Hey, my stomach. This is a big, beautiful Mississippi green water snake. Ah, don't bite me. Don't bite me, bud. These are non-venomous species, of course. It's really funny looking. They don't look anything like a diamondback face-wise, but their coloration is very similar. Greens are a little bit less common here, but uh, there's also diamondback water snakes that live along here, and they're a bit more common. I've seen a few of those so far. And uh, if you look at this snake, they're really fat. They're really heavy bodied for how big they get. Oh, it's okay. That's all right. Now these snakes are very common depending on the area that you go to. Now in these rivers, greens are a little bit less common. And as you can see, they've got that gorgeous coloration. Look at that snake, whoa. What are you doing? What are you doing, silly? Don't bite me. Greens act a little bit different than other water snake species. As you can see, he's not behaving in that perfectly typical water snake fashion where he's not making his head like a diamond. But he's hissing at me, he's opening his mouth, and he definitely musked on me. That's something that almost all water snakes do. But this is an absolutely gorgeous species, and I'm glad we're getting to show you guys this snake. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let him go now. All right, see you, little buddy. Watch him swim away. Really cool. Water snakes are incredibly good swimmers. And the ones along this river are particularly strong due to the currents. Oftentimes, the best way to look for snakes is to look ahead on the riverbanks. Most snakes use the river to escape predators, so spotting them ahead of time and getting to them before they escape can be really tricky. Really good. Oh, it's a shed skin. Check that out. There's the snake. There's the snake. That's probably the same shed skin. That's a water snake. Got him, got him. Have a look at that. He is gorgeous. My goodness. This is a Midland water snake. I've never seen one this big. Look at his colors. He is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Ah, musk on me. Every time you catch a water snake, that's the first thing they do. Midland water snakes are kind of our variant of a northern water snake. They're probably one of the most widely distributed snake species in the eastern side of North America. But down here, we just don't get them. And this is the variant of them that we get, it's the Midland. They have a very similar patterning, but they've got a reddish coloration, and they've actually got these little lines on their face. They look very similar to banded water snakes. Whether it be a southern banded or a broad banded, they look very similar. And water snakes, most of the time, will try and bite you, but this one's just musking on me and uh, hissing, which is kind of interesting. These bigger water snakes, I guess, just kind of hiss at you when they get up and around this size. And he just kind of flattened out his neck as I walked up to him, which was crazy looking. Now, water snakes have keeled scales, which means they've got a ridge on the scale. Midland water snakes probably have the prettiest skin out of any water snakes. You feel it, it's really rough, but if you feel it like that, it's very smooth. An incredible animal to see out here. Now, these guys have anticoagulant in their bites, which is something that causes their prey to bleed out most of the time. I've gotten this question a lot lately, and it's what to do if you get bit by a non-venomous snake species. Now these snakes obviously are non-venomous, so there's no venom 
in their bites whatsoever. However, there is still bacteria and other things in there that you definitely don't want in your bloodstream when they bite you. So obviously, if any snake bites you, you obviously want to wash it out very quickly. When I get bit by snakes, I don't really see much of it. Uh, normally, I just clean it out and then continue on my day. If you're really not sure if it was a venomous or non-venomous species, definitely seek medical help. But if you know 100% without a doubt that it was a non-venomous snake species, then what you want to do is just wash it out thoroughly and keep it from getting infected. They're really, really common, but I've never seen one this big and this gorgeous. So it's really cool to get to show you guys this snake. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, let's go ahead and let this snake go. Alright, see you little snake.